Savage, Julie Foudy in just one second. Really good game last night. If you just kind of look at what the uh, plate has for us today, these should be three really good baseball games. Yeah, I'm excited about today's games. We got a bunch of teams that are really all in today. Teams coming back from the loser's bracket. We got the winner's bracket here at 3 o'clock and 7.30. I'm excited. We should get some good baseball, some clean baseball today. We got four left on the U.S. side, three left on the international side. This is where this is where it gets good. Right, we were talking about it yesterday. What I love. They still have their best arms left. Yes. And so today we'll see some really good ones. Yeah. You can win today, this afternoon and tonight, and go to a championship game here in good shape. Last night, things were really tight. Great game, New Jersey, Rhode Island. Peterson had a great seat. He was watching this thing at a restaurant. He acknowledged we sounded really good, but he couldn't hear us. <laughs> it looked like he sounded good. We had a fun game. I tell you what, J.R. Rosado came in and shut the door down, and then the bats came alive here for the New Jersey team late. Made some tough plays put the pressure on the defense here and those two runs would be the deciding factor. That was it. Great defense too late. Watch the third baseman Derek Escobar here after we had the first hit of the night for Rhode Island. He prevented the second and that was the game winner. Tremendous play. New Jersey stayed alive and they are back at it already today. Here's Julie Foudy. I have J.R. Rosado here and first off tremendous game last night take us back to that moment bottom of the fifth you come in two runners on zero outs jr what i was thinking was just get a strike out and then let my defense do the rest because i trust them and you did more than that you got more than one strikeout remind us your favorite player again my favorite player is mariana rivero yeah. kind of looked like him last night thank you <laughs> today tight turnaround feels like you guys probably should have slept in the infield here how do you all feel um we all feel good but the problem is they're a good hitting squad, so we had to do whatever we can to um, make as least amount of errors as we can. So what is the approach today, being that Louisiana, Louisiana does have some big hitters? Reese Roussel, for example, is one of their big hitters. Um, I'm just going to do as much as I can not to get them on base. All right, natural cannon, your special talent. Go get them today. Thank you. Great interview. And thank you very much for saying I look like Mariano Rivera last night. That was good. Rosado's on the mound today, and he knows this team can hit, especially Reese Roussel. He's been the best hitter here on the United States side. It's just it's pretty to yeah. watch him swing a bat. I mean, you see a, anybody at any age from the left side when it looks like this, you know they're going to hit. Reese Roussel has more hits in this Little League World Series than anybody, and they just keep on coming. 40, look at it. Rossi, that's, that's, that's not what most 12-year-olds look like. That's a beautiful swing. You talk to his coaches and say he swings it like a man. He sure does. And this whole team can hit the one through six hitters, 49 at bats, 23 hits, hitting 469 as a team. That's some good numbers. So Roussel limbering up early. Peterson did his push-ups. Rossi buried some bacon and eggs, and we are ready <laughs> for some baseball. First, some diamond chatter going to break. All right, Reese. You ready for some diamond chatter? Yeah. You ready to play a little ping pong, more importantly? Yeah. But... How was your ping pong game? Should I be worried? Oh, Should yeah. Should I be stretching it out? Oh, yeah. You had two free hours, OK? And you couldn't play video games. What would you do? I like to fish and hunt. You do? Yes. You like to fish and hunt? It's my favorite thing. Really? Biggest fish you've ever caught? 25-inch redfish. I feel like we should super slow mo that. What is that, Reese? It's called the stack it up. My friend Connor made it up. Do you do that when you score or when you do it? Uh, whenever we either get a double or triple. One pet other than a cat or dog? Probably a pet bass. A pet bass? What? Dang. Reese. I'm on, like, I'm on like my Z game right now. consolation game but this one has got a lot on the line this is an elimination game Elizabeth New Jersey and that is just about 15 miles southwest of New York City they are making their first Little League World Series appearance the 19th overall for the state and first since a couple years ago when Holbrook Little League went two and two we'll take a look at today's team lineups it's brought to you by Office Depot my name is Justin Labrador and my favorite emoji is the money sign my name is Emily Soto, and my favorite subject is math. My name is Jamie Tamayo, and my favorite emoji is the one where you roll your eyes. 
My name is Josiah Sharp, and my favorite actor is Will Smith. My name is Amanda Nunez, and my favorite food is fried chicken. My name is Sal Garcia, and my favorite emoji is a strong arm. My name is Jay Rosetta, and my favorite baseball player is Marion Rivera. My name is Santi Alvarez, and my favorite actor is Denzel Washington. My name is LJ Ponte, and my favorite baseball team is the Yankees. My name is Joel Sanchez, and my favorite player is Gary Sanchez. My name is Jaden Capendisa, and my favorite actor is Chadwick Boseman. My name is Yadi Mateo, and my favorite team is the Houston Astros. My name is Derek Escobar, and my favorite player is Derek Jeter. Jeter like play last night to end the game from Derek Escobar. The manager of this team is Jairo Labrador. He's outstanding. He's got a couple of buddies with him. Luis Aponte, Coach Lou, grew up on the same street that Jairo did when Super they were kids, man. and Sal Garcia, the other assistant coach there. Superstar, buddy. Let's go. Like that to be a superstar is a good thought today, and Egan Prather's on the mound. If they win, Marshall Luke, who is their ace, will be eligible to pitch tomorrow. Egan Prather's curveball is going to be the pitch, KP. He loves that curveball. Plus curveball, good fastball and change, but his go-to is that breaking pitch. Sal Garcia looks at ball one. He's a guy that got the thing started in the sixth inning. And a big double to right center field. And we'll see a lot of times with these Little League teams, the more you play, the more rhythm you get into, the better you are. And they were on this field last night till about 9.20. See a lot of first pitches of the game as a curveball. No, hey, he you got up early and did your scouting report today. I'm <laughs> impressed. I've seen him. I, I've had the, the, the ability to watch him already. I know he loves that curveball. He got a pretty good fastball too. You see there, Sal Garcia a little bit tardy. He's one got that rally going last night for them in that top of the six leadoff double. What time did you get up, uh, Rossi? I got up about 7:45. I would so say up early. Yeah, get my get my coffee. Right. Oh, oh you? What time did you get up? Uh, I was up early, around six. KP, how time you roll over? Two two to Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have brought it up, but you brought up the fact that Rossi was up early doing a scouting report. Just want to see how we all prepared. How we're feeling. We all have our own speeds, Ralph. <laughs> oh. That's outside. That uh, one two pitch was really close. Now we're three and two. Outfield against a guy that can hit it pretty shallow in center. And he's gone with a strikeout. First pitch break a ball fight all the way through it to get back to a full count and then just finish with this one. Here's that four seamer grab it. Let it go good fastball right there from Egan first out of the game to strike out. Here is J.R. Rosado who'll be on the mound for New Jersey. Ooh, fastball up in the zone swings through it. A little more pressure obviously in the elimination game and this is a team from New Jersey that's had to deal with that back in the regional tournament they lost their second game on a walk off to Washington and then they went on a four game winning streak which they outscored their opponents 32 to 5 including a 19 to 4 win over New York in the championship game in that region. Ryder Plancher just freezing it right there. Nice job. He set up off the plate and gets it back to the plate. I love this look from Egan Prather covering the face. Oh yeah. Means business. How about that start with two fastballs to strike out Garcia and Rosado. Climbing the ladder again just that forcing fastball going up and in here how he started at bat. To Rosado just Rare back and let it eat. I love a guy good tax. This guy's rhythm is phenomenal. Egan Prather off to a good start. Here's some power coming to the plate. Yadi Mateo. He'll be the first baseman for New Jersey. And a breaking ball in there for a strike. 5'11, big kid, 231. Really good hitter, too. A little more patient tonight. Swinging at almost every pitch he saw last night. Didn't get a hit. Point. Sees that first pitch, get that timing down. Oh. 
Oh, that ball's hit down the line in left field towards the corner. Oh, a nice running effort by Gavin Berry. Slammed up against that padded wall, but he made a good effort. You think he's going to have a chance at this, Kyle? He gets there just out of the reach. Just in time to brace. Pretty good impact for that wall. This vantage point, too, you're looking straight down on it. You can see him going right into the wall. You knew it was going to be close, but just about made a heck of a play. Egan Prather looking to strike out the side here in the first. He's ahead 0-2. Strike three. What a job by Prather as he gets Garcia, Rosado, and Mateo to start this one. Somebody did get up early. He gets up going to work, man. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Up here right over the top of that one. Breaking ball the first pitch of the inning. Fastballs from there on out. Strikes out the side. Here comes the offense. Take a little walk with us and you can see what it feels like to enter the complex here with the Little League World Series with Lomity right down the hill. 0-0 New Jersey and Louisiana. The kids from East Bank Little League from River Edge, the southwest region, nine miles west of the French Quarter and give Scott Frazier all the credit in the world. He's the guy that started this Little League program six years ago and he's been coaching these 12 year olds ever since. He's one win away from moving on. Office Depot introduces us to the kids. My name is Alan Schwartz and my favorite subject is social studies. My name is Ryder Planchard and my favorite player is Derek Jeter. My name is Stan Wills and my favorite baseball player is Jose Altuve. My name is William Andrade, and my favorite app is ESPN. My name is Pink Spadoni, and my favorite athlete is Drew Brees. My name is Derek Delat, and my favorite emoji is the sunglasses. My name is Connor Farrell, and my favorite baseball player is Bryce Harper. My name is Ryan Dara, and my favorite food is steak. My name is Jeffrey Curtis, and my favorite baseball player is Aaron Judge. My name is Gavin Berry, and my favorite food is hamburgers. My name is Reese Roussel, and my favorite baseball player is Alex Bergman. My name is Marshall Lute, and my favorite emoji is the muscle one. My name is Egan Prather, and my favorite actor is Adam Sandler. Scott Frazier, we mentioned he's the man in charge of this. Kevin Johnson and Donald Abadi are his assistant go, coaches. Hey, hey, load up. Let's go. Lead up. Hey, Two daughters, and he's asked why he did go. this. He said, my hobby is this. He won a state championship in high school himself, played a little in college for the Raging Cajuns. And here's the guy that we saw last night come in and do his best Mariano Rivera imitation. He can bring that fastball. He's got the heat. He's got the off-speed stuff, but his fastball is explosive. Great move last night by Jairo Labrador, bringing him in first and second, nobody out. He went punchy, punchy, ground ball to get out of it. Spins one in there, so we have both of our pitchers boom, today. Boom. Start off with curveballs. Brian Dara is the center fielder. And lead sings off. Only eight K's for this team, oh. so ooh. I think he did, didn't he? He's looking for some help from fellow umpires because Dara sold it like he was hit. He certainly offered at it, which felt like it would have been a strike. So Marty Henry is enlisting Jason Corbett, John Joy, and Kelly Dine. Yeah, I think he definitely offered at him. And even if it does hit him, if he offers that, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's should be a strike. Yeah. Umpires have the ability on their own to go and take a look at it, which I think is exactly what's going on here. And yeah, I mean, there was more, there was almost a half swing. That had to look like it was coming in at 100 miles an hour yeah. after that just, breaking ball coming right at you. You're playing defense at that point. <laughs> This, the Southwest region's had a lot of success since 2002. They've been to seven United States title games. The only team to advance all the way to the Little League World Series title game was our friend Bud Maddox and Lufkin Little League. Let's see if we get a strike call. Whoa. Wait a sec. So Hold on now. And now Hyro's going to come out and ask for a little clarity on that. Yeah, I, I had a swing here. I don't know how you watch about this there. and see. Yeah. You see that it hits him, but. Well, right. we're standing on first. The overhead, yeah. 
hit by pitch. The swing is not reviewable. So I guess he was over there to confirm whether there was contact with the baseball on the jersey of the arm, which there was. Now, gets a little harder here. Reese Roussel hitting seven hundo here at the Little League World Series. Seven for ten. What a good matchup this is with Rosado and Roussel. Two of the best of the tournament squaring off here early on at Lomity this morning. Outfield respecting him deep all around sharp and left Capandisa in center and Labrador in right. And there for a strike and now we got a runner caught in between they throw down a second too late. That's a good job by Ryan Dara and a little hesitation there from Joel Sanchez hung on it a little too long. Rare that you see a stolen base. Sanchez just trying to frame this pitch, making it look good. You tell it, Ryan Dara gets halfway, sees he's still not throwing the ball and takes the second half. Oof, Roussel. Tough guy to strike out through the hands out of the game, just like that hit we saw the other night. Yeah. He's so good just throwing the hands, KP, that ball away. He doesn't really get his lower half into it, but that's a nice swing. Roussel, seven hits. Delat here on this same team, six hits. Yeah, he never looks uncomfortable. Even that one ties him up. Yeah, that could be a hit, too, and it yeah. is. He can fly. First and third. That's how it's going for Roussel here in the Little League World Series. He's now eight for 11. That one didn't even leave the infield. Little lob wedge there over the pitcher's head, right? Just throw it out there. Good hitters get jammed, they say. He got ball first on this one. It checked up right when it got into the grass. <laughs> All right. When you're going good, that's what happens. And wow. he can he can run. I mean, that helps out. Eight hits. You just don't strike out, and that puts a lot of pressure on a guy like Rosado and this New Jersey team. That stolen base proves pretty big as Derek gets to third on a ball in which he likely would be either out at second or just at second base. And here's Marshall Luke, big number three hitter. And the New Jersey team apparently wants to have some uh, conversation about if Roussel takes off what the play is going to be. Sometimes you'll see the catcher Sanchez throw it hard back to the pitcher. Sometimes one of the middle infielders will come and cut it off. Got a couple plays. I'm sure that's what they're discussing whether they're going to throw it through head down the third or just eat it. Best thing you do is get it right back to your pitcher as yep. quick as you can and let him make a decision. Strike one to Marshall Luke. Jam shot caught by Mateo. Throw to third. Safe. Good job over there by Yachty Mateo at first base. One down. Signature for this New Jersey team is the defense. Yachty. It's a little soft liner, but they can play catch. Not scared to throw the ball around. Trust their defense. All right, Rossi and KP. Chick fil A allows us to meet the player. We're going to focus on Connor Parrott. Little nugget they call it. He can wrap nugget. it a little bit. <laughs> Skittles and Powerade, always a great combo, especially early. Ball one. Here's the throw down to the shortstop, and that allows Roussel to get in a scoring position. That's the play they were discussing. Throw it to the shortstop. He's got a good arm. Sal Garcia can let it eat. <laughs> He's got to bring it back to home. Early trouble for New Jersey. Good job by the catcher. Joel Sanchez to block that. Dara is at third base looking to score the first run of the game. Start reading him for a delay. Called strike on the inside corner. We've seen this New Jersey team pitching in a little more than most teams. They're not afraid to go in these right handed hitters. Spinner and he got him. Woo. In and out. It's a right hander. This is going to be a tough one. Watch the arm angle. Kind of drops all the way down. We got a little spike breaking ball going. Set it up that fastball in. You're thinking as a hitter, is he coming back in? You see that front side bail. That's tough to stay on. It was nasty. Now Gavin Berry, a little late on that fastball. I heard Rosado last night. We were talking about him. He's got a couple of older brothers, and he says his arms like a natural cannon. 
They were blown away by it at an early age, so how fast he could throw this ball. Perfect pitch there in the inside corner. Now they throw down, and now they got a run down here. Noah Dara running all the way back. He's going to be called obstruction on, I believe, Escobar, who got in the way of Dara, and he's being awarded home plate. He did what you instruct a lot of runners to do, which is to run at an infielder. And our umpire, Kelly Dine, pointed right at Escobar as if he had gotten in the way. Watch 36. Right in the baseline there. Yeah. Looks like he makes a little bit of contact there. Yeah. With Derek Escobar. Better look here. Yeah, yeah. gloves hit. Hit his glove. glove. It's a right call. Kelly Dine all over it down there. Our third base umpire. And just like that, without the benefit of a hit on that play, a 1-0 lead for Louisiana. And Barry is gone. That's a big play in a game in which you got some good pitchers on the mound. If Sanchez gets rid of it here and throws it, you wouldn't have that issue. But no, he didn't throw it. And you got to trust your shortstop coming back in on the yeah. backside. One bombs last night. Homer in Williamsport. Do you think it might have to do with the Jersey shake? I mean, I think he's he came here. I think it's going down the hill. It's good luck when you come down, come to Williamsport, go down the hill. That's good luck. Three home runs in two games since going down the hill. I just like your reaction right before he went down. There was that one moment I had nothing to do with this. This is not my fault. Do not blame me if he gets hurt. All right, so New Jersey now starts the second down a run. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Capadisa. Jaden was thinking fastball, so he was out in his front foot before that ball got halfway to home. Bacon at a kid. Ball. I think I've eaten almost a whole pig in bacon since <laughs> I've been here. <laughs> I promise you, I want to take that whole tray back there in the food truck. <laughs> we still got like five days left, too. Oh, boy. Be a little you, got, you do have bacon on the list, Mike? Never good. Or just bacon. put a whole pig if you want. Mm. Good pitch there too. Papandisa. What's the uh, what's the mess? Stay back on that back foot with a breaking ball pitch. Just wait if you can. But you got to stay up the middle, I think, with that, especially that back door. Fastball driven to right field. Roussel going over, and he was on it from Jump Street. Nice play by Reese Roussel. This New Jersey team, of course, calls themselves the Troopers. They are playing for a lot more than just the team on the field. Thomas Hanratty Jr., a New Jersey State Trooper. The team is nicknamed in his honor. The field that they play on in New Jersey, nicknamed in his honor. Only 24 years young when he was killed as a state trooper during a routine traffic accident. And it was a tragedy. He played for the Elmira Youth uh, Baseball team growing up. His dad was a... Manager on the team, his picture hangs in the state troopers facility. That is, Hyro Labrador said when they got here, they were reminded of why they're here and who they're playing for. And for the first game, we had a whole bunch of New Jersey state troopers watching this team from New Jersey in person. So it's never going to be lost on New Jersey and Elizabeth, the role that Thomas Hanratty has played for this team. And that's how they. Got the name Troopers. Derek Escobar. Look out. Oh. Look out. <laughs> good distance in the throw say, right there, right? Yeah, that's about a nine and a half. That had good carry. <laughs> We're all right now. All right. We're all right. All right. Watch go. out down there. A little humid this morning. Maybe a little. <laughs> He's talking with Ryder. Plancher, too, behind the plate. <laughs> All right, we got rid of the gloves. We're feeling good now. So we drive one to center field. Ryan Dara, Roussel calls it. Then Dara, the center fielder, steps in front of him. Two down. Two good athletes out there in the outfield. They can cover some ground out there in the outfield. Big, tall, young kids, long legs. They are covering some ground already here this morning in Williamsport. And here is Justin Labrador. First pitch foul off. Justin's only a 10 year old and the son of Hyro down there at third base. And you can see clearly there's a there's a discrepancy in size between the two of them. 
Hyra will tell you he once looked a little bit like Justin as a kid. That he was a baseball player through high school. <laughs> and as Hyro puts it, then I outgrew my baseball body and grew into my football body. Which is one of the great lines of all time. That's a, that's Embrace a quote it. of the tournament. <laughs> and he did play football through his college years. Uh, Justin, when you get to talk to this group, Justin's the one with the big personality. He's got the swag. You see the, oh, yeah. the hair. He's got the shades on. He's got the big personality <laughs> in the group. On the corner, and Labrador is struck out. Good start. Egan Prather strikes out the side in the first, picks up another one here in the second. He has faced the minimum. Six up, six down, and a one nothing lead for... Louisiana here. From New Orleans ever to play in Williamsport, the Little League World Series. Man, go get them. Take no prisoners. Come home with the trophy. Uh, we're excited. We'll be following you guys. What's up, East Bank Little League, River Ridge, Louisiana. Congratulations for making it to the Little League World Series. You guys don't understand. That was my childhood dream. You guys are living the childhood dream. So proud of you guys. Best of luck in Williamsport. Man, we're going to be rooting for you. <laughs> Nothing better than the reaction of the kids when you have your quarterback and the football coach of the hometown Saints give a shout out. With more on this group and Breeze and a connection to this team, let's go down to Julie. Yeah, Carl, you can imagine with Drew Brees and Louisiana, there's more than one connection with this team. Derek DeLatte, I'm with the Derek Sr. and mom, Jennifer. Derek, I understand, was in a commercial with Drew as a child. Is that true, Dad? Yes, when he was when he was three years old, he did a bank commercial. He played Drew's son, who's a stand-in, and he had to kick a football off a tee. And supposedly it was going to be going through like seven windows in the neighborhood, breaking all kind of vases in the house and stuff like that. So then Drew had to use his phone to pay for all the stuff that his son supposedly broke. But yeah, so Derek got to actually hang out with Drew's son um, all day, played in the house with, um, with his son and Drew's wife. And it was a great experience. And since then, um, I own a sportsplex in New Orleans, and we did some things with the Saints and softball charity stuff, and I would actually pitch. And he just got out. Um, so um, he'd actually pitch. I'd actually pitch to the softball players, to Drew and stuff, and I'd have Derek there. So every year, Derek would take pictures with him and things like that. So that's how we got the pictures. That's awesome. And the message is don't kick into glass windows, I guess, when you're when, when, you have a three-year-old. Hey, Mom, I understand four siblings watching it, four, four kids watching at home because they're back at school. You want to give them a little hello? I bet they're missing Mom right now. Hey, kids. I love and miss you. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> love and miss you, but make sure you're doing a good job in school. We'll be enjoying Little League World Series. That's the DeLatte family. So the owner of the Sportsplex, we got Jace, Jaden, Drew, and Jenna. Ages 14 through 7. That would be cool to hang out with Ju Drew Brees, right? <laughs> That's a bucket list. That's decent. That was Drew Brees' kid. Right. Say that for the rest of your life. Oh. Ryder Planchard, he bats seven on this Louisiana team. They had to deal with Hawaii in their first game and lost. And sort of right after that loss, they were looking ahead to the idea of, you know what, we got a real chance here. We're a good team. They're a good team. We we lost, but we can get back at them as long as we keep winning. And they're they're knocking on that door again. Hawaii will play later against Virginia. If Hawaii loses that and then Louisiana wins it, you get your rematch tomorrow. It was immediate after that. Scott Fraser, the head coach. Right away, said yeah. Goals still the same. The goal is to play in the U.S. championship game, be playing next weekend. Now they're still playing. See the sun really start to bake this field as Egan Prather squares to bunt. Strike one is thrown. Look out. Yeah, so these kids grew up idolizing Drew Brees. Like, so who was your guy when you grew up? Who was the athlete you most sort of looked forward to? I grew up in a college town. Charlie Ward, yep. you know, was a, was a huge deal when I was in Tallahassee going to FSU football games. I, I love college football, and I fell in love with Charlie Ward and those, those good. Derek Brooks, 
Dion primetime was there early on. That was a good time to be in Tallahassee. <laughs> Laced into left field off the bat of Prather into the corner and is cut off out there by wheels and he fires it back in. So first and second. Did you ever get a chance to actually then meet them? Uh, Charlie Ward now coaches basketball at my high school in Tallahassee and we go to the same church. Uh, so yeah, I see Charlie all the time and what a great human being he is. And I never got a chance to meet Dion, but we're still, we got, we got a long ways to go. <laughs> oh, Ouch, that one got Stan Wilson. That probably hurt a little bit. He's heading down to first base. That'll load the bases up and J.R. Rosado this is a little uncharacteristic for me. You keep talking about it. New Jersey seems to be obsessed with making sure you throw inside. They pitch in a lot. We saw it with Yadi Mateo in the first game. He pitched early on here for J.O. Rosado. J.R. Rosado, it just sets up that breaking ball so much, and I think that's what they must be thinking. But, you know, it's tough to hit that down away heater, especially the angle at which Rosado throws at. This one on the ground could be two. Garcia himself to first. Good That's play. a big double play. Good play. Sal Garcia takes it himself, and they had him loaded and come up empty. It's just good awareness of knowing exactly where he's at. If you flip it, it's going to take a little bit more time. There's always a chance when it flips that close to your second baseman can't. Hey, thank you to the parents, and whether you're making a trip here or your son or daughter's playing this Little League World Series. You want to play Little League? Easy to find your local league. You just visit playlittleleague.org. That's one long word. Visit playlittleleague.org and enter your address to find a Little League program near you. An early filet going down here. Yeah. It's a nice dad. Never a bad time for a Chick-fil-A sandwich. <laughs> oh, dad just holding the Chick-fil-A sauce right out there for him. That's a that's a nice father. Support. I would not do that for my kid. I think that stage that must be it must be getting points on TV. You're not you're not holding your son sauce. No, I'm not. No. So we pick it up here now. We've moved to the third inning. Yamil Soto, Joel Sanchez, Josiah Sharp, seven eight nine. Can't emphasize how big that double play was. You had Roussel who's only hitting eight hundred on deck after that double play. Slow roller here. And fielded cleanly by Connor Parrott. He runs to first to get the out. Seven up, seven down. Well, just a decision for Sal Garcia to take it himself. Yeah. And you could see that this vantage point is so much fun sometimes because you can see everything open up. You could see his mind working as he was moving to, to field that ground ball. Knows he's got enough time to finish it. Joel Sanchez, the catcher. Ball. Raiders pitched a really good game. Both these guys right around that 30 pitch mark. He just pouring it in there. That deception, that big front side. KP, it's always tough to hit those guys, that big front side coming at you. You can see that glove. The glove goes right towards the hitter and turns over right before he makes his move to go to home play. What does that tell you when you see that glove roll over? Yeah, everybody's got their own speed, but you can see. I mean, that's that's kind of like his. That's like his sight on a rifle. And that glove takes him right where he wants to go. Then he just follows right behind it. It's always those guys that got that big front side and that glove there hides the ball. You see that glove whip down and that ball just pops out of there. Good pitch right on the corner. Another strikeout. His fifth. Just makes it look pretty simple. First pitch of the ball game is a breaking ball. He's thrown a lot more fastballs than breaking ball, but watch how easy this move is to home play. So we're not really doing a lot, which is fine. It's easy. It's repeatable. You can throw right behind that glove, sticks a fastball in the outside corner. Got a chance to watch this guy, Josiah Sharp, last night in the outfield and on the bases. When he's on, he can move. His nickname is Wheels for a good reason. He's lower to the ground and he goes. Point guard and his hoop team. Good luck stealing the ball from him. <laughs> you got no no shot. <laughs> he's by it or he's yeah. dribbling it down. Where did he low go? Enough. Where did he go? And wheels. This is uh, wow. from the jump street. His grandfather named him that when he was seven. Frustration and elation for the other guy, Egan Prather, on fire. Tenth consecutive scoreless inning by Louisiana. One time through the order, he's punched out six of nine so far. Great start to the ball game, one nothing.
Welcome back to Little League World Series. And as is always the case, you never know what's happening within families. Marshall Luke right there has a brother, Maddox, who is nine years old and was diagnosed with kidney cancer earlier this year. And brother Maddox actually had a stem cell transplant in March. And so the nurses said to them after the stem cell transplant, you got to get out of your room and get busy. So you know what Maddox was doing. He was, he was taking some swings in the hall, pitching some as well. He was all cleared three months ago is the great news. And he is serving as an inspiration to Marshall. And Marshall is serving as an inspiration back to his brother Maddox watching in the stands. How cool is that? It's uh, really cool for the hospital oh, to recognize. We've got to get him up and out yes. and doing what he loves to do. And the relationship between the two, the more you get to know them a little bit in that family is incredible. It is a two way street. It is. I love to watch my older brother do this. And the older brother is so in tune with what Maddox is going through. That one inside and that one nearly got Roussel. Yeah, that is really, really cool. And how great is it to see him here? Absolutely. Like a swing too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pepper in the hallway. Yeah. Hopefully someday we see Maddox here representing Louisiana again at the World Series. This one back up the middle. That's a good hop for Garcia from his knees. Oh, what a play on a one hopper and Mateo reached for it. It's close. We may review it, but a good job by Sal Garcia and short smart to throw that in the yes. hop too. You just stay out of his area code. If you're going to hit the ball on the ground, do not hit it towards Sal Garcia. Nice play, mm. but I think he beat it out. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be safe, but what a play, Sal Garcia. Staying down, gets to his knees, no time to pop up. One up, oh. give your first baseman a chance. What a clean play. But just another knock there for Reese Roussel. He's on fire. That'll be his ninth he's doing everything hit. right. Here's the other thing too and I know we talk about it a lot if he doesn't hit the front part of the bag if he hits the middle part of the bag or the back part of the bag he's out right but you hit the very front part of the base it's the quickest way to get there it's the safest way to get there and he's standing on first base again he's got five straight hits and again that does speak to why that double play in the last half was so important you can't stop Reese Roussel right now nine of twelve five straight he can fly too. So the leadoff man aboard for Louisiana here in the bottom of the third. And here's Marshall Luke. Get some high level players on this field today. Yeah. Well, you can just see the speed and athleticism really come into play around the bases, too. This Louisiana team can hit, but the way they run the bases, their aggressive play, that's how they got their one run so far in this game. Luke on the ground tough to turn to here they try it and Luke just beats it up he's called out looked like he was safe as well but the out call is made I think he's safe pretty easily there but I love the actions of this middle infield for New Jersey they can just you see the ball hit on the ground you think two right off the bat watch just how smooth Sal Garcia just flips this ball right there to Yamil Soto in a good turn, but you're not going to get Marshall Luke. He's too fast. Yeah, Luke was there in plenty of time on the bag, so we're going to have that overturn. New Jersey's been terrific up the middle. They've already turned four double plays. That didn't take long. And now Parrott, who struck out his first time up. Rosado dealing with the heart of this Louisiana order. And that one has popped out of play. Again, you guys both played college baseball, professional baseball at the major league level. I just find it, isn't it so cool when you see kids from different parts of the country all have similar baseball skills and acumen? Oh, and that one hits him again, and they continue to pound the ball inside. Another hit batter. But boy, the high level yeah. of play, no matter where you're coming from, is so good. And All this the is world. the great place 
to be reminded of it exactly yeah, what I, I mean we always talk about the defense here but just the the general baseball knowledge I mean that that insta the instinct plays no one when to flip it to second base no one when to take it yourself the stuff that only happens by taking a million ground balls and doing it over and over again it's what it just <laughs> it amazes me every year Doug how we have I Doug, I just came from karate I believe I mean he just came from <laughs> taekwondo class wax on oh, wax look at off. This look. that's the wax on wax off yeah Miyagi it's got a lot of units. That's the black suit with the white belt. I don't know that that's, that's I think the, it's backwards, right? No, there's only one of those. I mean, they don't make many. That's that's a different level. <laughs> one down for Gavin Berry. And the runners will advance. Alton Shorts came in as a special pinch runner. He's down to second. And the little mistakes to the tight game can hurt you. That allows them to move up 60 feet. Feels like that it when you've got these two good teams playing in a tight game the small mistakes we've seen it already just an extra base here or there you pick that up that can cost you. So shorts trailing Luke at third base and Gavin Berry up with a chance to add to it with only one down. Oh, that's a good pitch isn't it. Tell you what. This Louisiana team can absolutely hit 20 of their last 32 at bats come with runners in scoring position. They get guys and put pressure on that defense. Here, let me have that. See a lot of these third base coaches after every swing the hitter looks down they always offer some other piece of advice. <laughs> That's the same pitch he swung at and struck out on in the first. Tell you what, that hitting gets really easy as soon as you get outside of that yep. batter's box, right? I get about <laughs> 60 feet away. It's a lot easier. <laughs> I'm guilty of that. Yep. Mm, on your knuckles, and he swings and fouls it off. I don't understand, too. Somebody like Rosado throws it so hard. Your reaction time at that plate 46 feet away has got to be instant. These Louisiana kids got this simple, quiet approach. Good pitch. Wow, Rosado with a little delayed delivery. Yes. And another strikeout. In a big spot, too. You're going to do something a little bit different. Do it when you really need it. Now gets into two strike count, pauses a little bit when he gets up to that balance point, and then just fires a fastball on the outside part of the plate. Like watching this kid pitch. That's a tough angle for a right hand, too. That was quick when we got that home plate view. Good look inside that glove too. I tell you one thing about Rosado big hands. First pitch fastball to Delot, strike one. Pedro Martinez had huge fingers. He was able to manipulate the baseball in so many ways. The size of that hand that Rosado has gripping that baseball. It's big fingers. On the ground tough play. And no play. Luke is going to score. And that's one of those in betweeners, Emil Soto. So often you want to come and charge that if you can and get it before it hits that dirt. He's, Two nothing. He's been really good so far. This is that extra hop. You can't get there quick enough to get that big hop. It's just that little short in between top spin hop. That's the toughest one you're going to get as an infielder. That's a second error from New Jersey today. Hyro Labrador is going to head to the mound, talk about perhaps the game plan with the runner at first and third. Relax. Relax. Okay? All right, let's see what we're going to do. He's going to get up and fire it back to JR. Okay? So I'll just back him up. All right, because you're going to get this battle. I don't want to risk anything, okay? Just fire it back to JR. JR, look at him, right? If you see he's halfway, say I'll cover the bag. Understand? Understand what I'm saying? If you see you can get him and this guy hasn't moved, then you get him out at second. All right, fire it back to Jr. He must have been listening to you, Rev. <laughs> fire it. Get rid of it. Get it back to the athlete on the mound. Believe it. Not going to hear that too often. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clip that one off if we could, please, Mose. Put that one in a highlight reel. The lat at first, Parrot at third. In there for a strike, they fire it back. Now they got him off third. Oh, they had it executed, and they make a mistake. Here's Parrot. They're going to send the lat throw home. It's 
takes off, and that hurts New Jersey badly. They did everything right but make the throw to third. It's 4 nothing. Oh, buddy. They had exactly what they wanted to. Watch a base runner. Oh, Shorts is a base runner, gets off just far enough. They had a chance to hit him right now. Just trying to be a little bit too quick to third base, and then that ball just gets in no man land, a two-run score. Amazing. Top of the broadcast, it was Rosado who was explaining to Julie Foudy, we're just going to try to eliminate the mistakes. And they've got three errors and is now trailing 4 nothing. One two. Ryder Planchard fouls that one off. That's a rough one because they did exactly what they wanted yes. to. We had him off third base. Shorts watch that ball sail over the head of Escobar. So you want to be a coach or a manager? Are you going to be have other people <laughs> responsible for your success out there? You can coach them <laughs> up, but you can't do it for them. That's right. for sure. Told them exactly what was going to happen. Equally hard because Rosado was right in the middle of all of it and they set it up for him. Now the 2 2. Back oh at boy. him and he's there to snare it and he fires it in disgust down on the ground. That's a little kid with a lot of pride. And a high level of frustration for this team from Jersey. Rossi, what do you think? Dip it up. Oh, no. What do you think? Oh, no. Too early. I still got bacon Never. in my stomach. I can't do Never. that. It's lunchtime. Dip. <laughs> so it's lunchtime here in South Williamsport as we welcome you back to the Little League World Series on ESPN presented by T-Mobile. Huge day at the Little League World Series. Great day, too. Part of that rain out provided us with this game, and this has been Terrific, really well pitched on both sides. Curacao's already won. They won yesterday, so they'll play the loser of the South Korea-Japan game. Later at 7.30 tonight, we have our kids cast on ESPN2. And here on ESPN Hawaii and Virginia, the kids cast will be broadcasters 16 years of age. Monet Davis is in town. Beef dip. Oh, uh, yeah, you know where that beef dip's going. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Beef dip is coming right to Jewels. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is legit, too. Dirk. Dirk takes care of me. He's my man. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. Get it all in there. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> deep, deep. <laughs> That's what we got. So my favorite good. human being. <laughs> so good. She's got to get a little more comfortable in her skin, and she'll, and she'll be really good at this. No fun. Mom, what do you do there besides eat? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> She's when eating is working, you have found the job of your dreams. No, who needs a napkin? That's Derek, we right. don't need a napkin. We've got other people that can fix that. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Well, let's see if New Jersey now, frustrated and down on themselves, can bounce a little bit. Top of the order. Second time that Garcia and company have got a chance to see Prather. Off speed, and he swings underneath it. You guys talk about just kind of mixing your pitches. Fastball. Off speed. Off balance for an offense. They're going to have to get something going, get a little rally, a little momentum back on their side. Something to feel good about, right? Yeah, Egan Prather has just been dominant. Since we seem to be beef obsessed, he's been carving. <laughs> I see how you did that. That was nice. <laughs> see what you did there. That's a veteran. Here we go. Hook. Ooh. It's seven. 
That's that front door breaking ball. You see the thing just doesn't come back as a hitter. You see it coming right at you and know it's going to be a strike. Tough one to lay off of. Right there off that front right hander shoulder. Breaking ball just catches that inside part. Tries to foul it off there, but no chance for Sal Garcia. Do you ever call it there? No. Shallow right field, and it falls in between Roussel and Delat. That's the first hit for J.R. Rosado. And maybe that'll get him going. This fights this one off for Rosado. Takes that fastball in, inside it, throws it down there, no man's land. And you got the big boy, Yadi Mateo, coming to the plate. Misses. Just having seen Yachty through the regionals in this one, the inside fastball is a good spot. You take a little off it, and he can melt one. That was hit hard at third base off the glove of Luke. He'll go to first in time to get Mateo back to third. Double play. Luke to Parrott, back to Luke. And a 5 3 5 double play. Scott Frazier out of the dugout, high five in the crew. They are fired up. What a play. Staying with it down there, Marshall Luke, and he's got the cannon to make this happen. And you don't see a first baseman do a nice job like that. Connor Parrott's got a cannon on the other corner. That was nice. Look at this. Across the diamond and across the diamond. No one, you got to get back in time. We're backpedaling. Slap the tag down. Just your everyday 5 3 5 double play to Indiana. <laughs> Four scoreless for New Orleans. The game at the Little League World Series on ESPN2. The Little League World Series legend Bonet Davis will be part of that telecast. I know Dave Belial, the former coach at uh, Cumberland, is going to be part of it. Tim Kirkshin as well. That's on ESPN2. We will be on ESPN with the game tonight between Virginia and Hawaii. William Andrade bats now. First pitch called strike one. Bottom of the fourth, sixth inning game. Louisiana, the home team, and leading 4 nothing. Trying to lay a bunt down, but it goes foul. Reports from Mafaudi on the beef dip was that it was the best thing that she's had ever at the Little League World Series. Ooh. Is that, go dive into that. Does that entice you for a little uh, later? I'll have to, um, maybe I'll have like half a Chick fil A chicken sandwich <laughs> and half a beef dip. You know? And there, I think there's some bacon left up top, too, if you need some of that. <laughs> Not much after I demolished that tray this morning. <laughs> Why is David walking out with the entire tray of bacon? <laughs> that goes foul. Frazier. Nice. Yes. Nice. Little web gem there. He's locked in. Yeah, I mean, that was transfer was on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Look at the eyes. The eyes are moving. He's locked in. Yeah, he's, he's dialed in. I don't have time. Hey, the ball. Let's go. Yep, we are right back to the coach. Not a big deal. Find Little League on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the official handles at Little League. You can follow the action and join the conversation with hashtag LLWS. You'll get some golf balls. Well, I see that. those, yeah. Like that logo, huh? Little League World Series logo on a golf ball. I like it. What do we I got? The precepts there we're playing. Okay. I'd be back in my bag on the second tee. I mean, not sure. That'd be right. I mean, I mentioned, I mentioned beef dip, and they come up here. I wouldn't mind a couple sleeves of golf balls. I mean, it's free. It's for me. I'm just saying, guys. Hold up on it, man. Just one dozen Little League World Series baseballs. <laughs> don't know if you don't ask. You might as well. And some dip. Yeah. Ooh, that was nasty. This is Jeffrey Curtis. <laughs> I'd take a Little League Maserati. <laughs> That'd be fine. We'll put, put the logo right on the side and I'll drive it all over the place. You got it. You got it. You got it. Curtis has gone two down here, bottom four. Really JR has been really good today, man. Yeah, I like the way he handles himself. So all do I. 
His interview pregame was terrific too. I love the way when Julie said you favorite player is Mariana Rivera and you pitched like him last night and she just thank you. A little action coming out of that Louisiana bullpen heading down, I should say out of their dugout heading down to the bullpen. That's Will Andrade who just batted. Now he's going to go down there and throw some warm up pitches. Rosado seems to be shaking that arm of his out there on the arm, mound a little bit. He got a little strawberry, a little, little scrape on that arm. Yeah, I'm sure that doesn't feel good. A little sting, that sweat getting in there. Yeah, we can shut that door. Ball one. Peyton Spadoni will bat. So um, when you go warm up, you got to take a ball. <laughs> they don't have a baseball. No. We got to get the event staff there. guy here to have a baseball in his pocket. He got Come down on. there. He looked at his glove, and he kind of looked at his buddy, this catcher. <laughs> he looked back at his glove, and it was, oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just nothing to do. Can't do anything. No. Oh, we're frozen. And we ran all the way down here. We, we are no, just. No, I don't have one. Do you have one? Just no. stuck. No, I don't have one. <laughs> Look at him. I, I thought you had it. <laughs> and they don't want to stop the game to come back. No, because no, then you're going to get yelled at. <laughs> no, I was already ready. Like, I didn't even need to throw. I was. I got down there, and I knew I was ready. So, now we're good. If I got to go in, I'm good. And there's not don't one worry about coach it. that can see them right now. No. Not one. Thankfully, they're not on TV. How'd that warm up go, guys? Yeah, I was good. I'm ready. Because you need me, like, I just Bring put me, me right coach. in. I don't even need eight when I go in. Let's like, go. I'm so warm, I'm ready to go. Let's go. All right, let's hustle back. Maybe they won't see us. <laughs> <laughs> That's Guys, Roussel is two for two, so he's got nine hits here in this Little League World Series. Throws his 49th pitch, so if he goes and comes out after this at bat, having thrown 50, he'll be eligible to pitch in the game on Saturday if they're able to advance to that. Got to believe that they got Marshall Luke going tomorrow. Assuming they hang on and win this one, and then you go Saturday a championship game with Prater on the mound. What do you do here? I take them out. Do you? Yeah. I think they've been sort of relying on Prather and Luke. Don't want this crowd from New Jersey, though. I'm I'm a little timid. You get those bats going for New Jersey. Those top five hitters can really swing it, put up a crooked number really fast. That's not going to help. The leadoff man is Jaden Capendisa, and he walks. You do have hey, the substitute hey, players. Turn two. Hey, you got it. Well, you've got it back to him. Turn two. For the Mid-Atlantic team. And it does not look at all like Frazier's going to make a move here. Here comes Escobar. Derek flew out to center his first time up. Fastball in. Quite in sync yet this inning. Look at that body of front of that arm, trying to figure out, find that little rhythm, find that arm slot. There it is. 24 on the mound plays soccer. He's a flag football player, volleyball, runs cross country, plays midfield in soccer, so he's in the middle of everything there. Linebacker in flag football. There's another one in there for a strike. Multi sport athlete. Keep it rolling, Egan. Oh. 
United States Championship game, international on Saturday, and then, of course, the overall Little League World Series title game on Sunday. Another benchmark that Prather would still be eligible for. Another strikeout, his eighth of the game. Hey, tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, 7 Pacific on ESPN, the ESPN app. Second game with that three game set between the Yankees and the A's, who are in the thick of the wild card chase. Yankees not really battling for a division crown anymore. That's been over for a while, but they lost last night to Oakland. Dodgers put like a 16 spot up in their game, and they both sit there at 44 losses. Think about best overall record in baseball when you talk about the postseason. That's at 10 o'clock Eastern time tonight. Jaime Tomeo. I tell you what, Egan Prather, when he finds that rhythm yeah. on the mound, he gets it, he goes. He just got a nice little way about him once he finds that release point. And so often everybody's waiting on the pitcher. In this case, he's he's waiting on them. Right. I mean, he gets it, but we're ready right now. Ball back, staring right over the top of his glove, waiting for a sign. Check the first. Did he go? Yes, he did. That's a good call. And strikeout number nine. Hey, this is about Prather, too. He is well aware of that big scoreboard over his shoulder there in left field and how many pitches he's thrown. Santi Alvarez bats as New Jersey starting to run out of opportunities. And there's a line out. Prather pumps his fist, comes off the mound. He has thrown 63 pitches. Jersey's got one hit. We're going bottom five at the Little League World Series. Sell's going to step up to bat. Louisiana in charge. And speaking of Reese, Mom Brandy drove his two sisters back to school to River Ridge to St. Charles Borromeo Catholic School. And there they are in the front. Emery and Rexy, they had dress down day. Could take the uniforms <laughs> like off, it. put on the orange. They're in full support at St. Charles. And also a little fun fact about Reese. They have a ladybug called the Ladybug, their mascot. Gets a little kiss before every game. I don't know if that's a little weird. <laughs> We pet it. There's there's Ryder as well giving a little kiss. They hydrate this ladybug. They said hydration is key here. It gets it gets hot. There's nothing weird about it if it works, Jules. <laughs> nothing <laughs> weird. About He's got it. nine hits. Right. <laughs> right. It works. Right. Kids kissing Stay ladybugs all over the country after this. We're gonna fly that thing to a big league clubhouse <laughs> if you break it. Two for two today, and neither ball has left the infield. How many hours you think Reese Roussel has spent in the batting cage and working on that swing of his? Ladybug, good vantage point. I just love his low. It's just a nice slow gather as he prepares to hit. It's really smooth. He puts a ton of weight on that backside. He got a quick pitch there. He wasn't ready for that. It's now two and two. This time he's anchored. Off speed, another one up the middle. Is he going to be retired? Is he going to be retired? He's not a machine. He's not a machine. <laughs> what happened to the ladybug? More hydration. More bacon. <laughs> 69 pitches for Rosado on the mound. You get 85 before you have to be taken out. Here's Marshall Luke. Both these dudes just go out there and just literally do what they're supposed to. Throw strikes, get it, and move it quick. Yep. When Rosado just, I mean, he has found that rhythm too. After that one miscue, he, he's been filling up the strike zone. Did you check that graphic, favorite big league teams? No. Astros, Cubs, and Red Sox. Just, <laughs> just in case. Just cover all the good ones. La last three World Series and then, winners. And, I, and then I, I also like the Yankees and the Dodgers, yep. too. Dodgers is a right in. a few favorites. Because they're coming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next year, Dodgers will be on the list. 
Ooh, tied him up. Wow. All right, so I asked you this. Yeah, I wanted to get okay. back to that. It, it's, you would never think to call the pitch there. You would never think to call. However, you don't see too many guys hit it because everybody gaps on it. I mean, you see that. They think it's on the inside part of the play, but it comes back and steals a strike. That's why I wanted to know if you ever called it. One scouting report, as you said that, and I thought I had a little bit of time to think. One scouting report, Jose Bautista, when he was in Toronto, the book was throw front door breaking balls because he freezes. And I think it's because yeah. everybody tried to throw at his head for a little while <laughs> that he froze on the front door breaking ball. But that was the only guy you've ever threw I set up in for a breaking ball. And you're right, it's the hardest pitch to hit that we call the backup slider. But really, that front door one that starts at you, you freeze for a minute and can't pull the trigger. That's it. That's, That's the nasty. strikeout. They'll have to throw down to first to get shorts. They do, and that will do it. We'll talk about that front door breaking ball. As hard as it is to hit, it's got to be a hard pitch to throw. We've seen it happen today. We'll bring that up with KP when we come back. The Little League World Series is presented by T-Mobile. By T-Mobile. Julie Foudy, Kyle Peterson, David Ross, Carl Ravitch here. And it is 4-0. New Jersey's got one hit. Egan Prather's been great. A little later tonight, 7-30, Justin Lee's going to get the ball for Virginia. Virginia will take on a Hawaii team, both 2-0. And, oh, and Virginia has thrown back-to-back no-hitters to start this. Only one team in Little League World Series history has thrown three no-hitters in the same World Series. That was a South Korea team back in 1973. Rossi was asking about the most dominant teams that you've seen at the Little League World Series for a while. Those teams... Chinese Taipei were dominant. You just pencil them in as a win. Got really good team still playing here. As we start the sixth inning, and Prather keeps pounding that strike zone and jumps ahead 0-2. Looking for his 10th strikeout of this game. That's it. Emmanuel Nunez is gone. One down in the last inning for New Jersey. Let's go, Will. All right, now we're thinking ahead. Phenomenal job, Ward. It's exactly what we expected from you. See you on the mound on Sunday. Let's go. Sunday, of course, looking way down the road will be the Little League World Series championship game. A little tip of the cap from Egan Prather with a 10K one hit effort for Louisiana. I love it all. If they get there, he'll be on the mound on Sunday in that championship game. They got a lot of work to do before we can start penciling that in. But a really good effort today from Egan Prather. And now Will Andrade on the mound. Is it a trust thing on that pitch? Because you're ideally sort of aiming it at the hip of the right-handed hitter when you let it go. Yeah, I'm not sure that it was intentional. Maybe it was. But yeah, I mean, Ross and I were talking about it. Like, if you could figure out a way to throw it and keep it there, you can get some outs. The problem is that risk reward. If it if yeah. it hangs, it is a homer ball. Oh, <laughs> Beach ball go to your trouble. That's one of those you're asking for another one before the ball's even gone. <laughs> right when he gets it. Now you get another one. <laughs> LJ Aponte. Oh boy. Did we ever have a baseball? Did, did we ever get down to the bullpen and actually warm up? He did. I, he, did he? Got down, right. he got one down, went back down. Sheepishly, he these. ran back to get one. Just <laughs> <laughs> Popped up. This one is playable and Planchard. Nice job by Ryder Planchard to make the catch. It's not easy getting those pop ups down the line. You can't get your back to the infield. The spin is moving away from from you. Ryder Planchard does a great job of really outrunning the ball and getting your head underneath it for the catch. Now they got two outs. They got the top of the order up. If there's going to be some magic, it's got to start with Sal Garcia. The 
baseball playing Hyro Labrador shines through. On the ground to third. Oh, Marshall Luke looked like he was watching that first baseman to make sure he was over there because he was going to pick it up and throw it. And a rare error for Louisiana. Still kicking. They got the boys coming up. Yep. I'll tell you what, Jaden has been at the heart of the big moments. Captain Disa really in this tournament. So if they can get to him, I know he's a long ways away, but loading them up we could have some some action it's action for J.R. Rosado right now first pitch in the dirt what a year it's been for this team from Elizabeth New Jersey an incredible summer they were up against it several times and they're up against it right now but they really generated a ton of excitement in that community and what a job by the community rallying in Bristol and certainly last night had about five busloads of people come here. They have a lot to be proud of. With the way these kids represented themselves. This one to right field. That's trouble. That's down. And it's going to get into the corner. Garcia to third. He's being waved. Rosado is into third with a triple. And we got action. That's got to feel good for J.R. Rosado. Had a phenomenal day on the mound. Couple tough luck plays, but throwing the hands here, keeping his team's chances alive. Just a nice job of throwing the hands at the baseball for this triple. Off to the races. We bring up Yadi Mateo, and then Jaden Caprandisa is on deck. There's life left in this New Jersey team. It could be 4 3 real quick. This one to right field towards the corner. Roussel is there. He had it and he dropped it. What an effort by Reese Roussel. It's a fair foul, guys. Ooh. Oh. That wall does not Love give it. over there. No. That may have been a fair ball. If that hits, if he doesn't get to that. Well, either way. Yeah, did he touch it over yeah. the line or was he in foul territory? Our left field. Ooh, that's man. a heck of a And effort, right man. field umpires are there for that reason. That looks like it was just foul. Mateo shot to oh. short. Wilts catches it, and Louisiana will win it. Yachty hit it hard. New Jersey fought to the very end. But it's Louisiana that will live to play another day tomorrow. Labrador busy celebrating with the New Jersey crowd that made their way here, thanking them for their efforts. And typical of uh, this coaching staff, especially he, he will embrace and hug and high five and show the respect they deserve. These two teams were terrific this. Uh, Go get it, boys. Go get it, okay? Yeah, you hey, saw coach, Egan Prather you. there so recognizing the great performance from J.R. Rosado. Two pitchers Go that battle it. back Go and forth. A couple mistakes. Mm -hmm. When we get to this level and the, the talent that's on the field, the little mistakes go a long way. And this uh, this Louisiana team was able to take advantage today of a couple of miscues on the New Jersey side early on, and then Egan Prather just brought him home. He was so good. So was Jay Rosado. Yeah. And it was it was good to see him get that hit in the last inning, standing on third base. He threw the ball great. He threw the ball great. I'm, I'm a big high row fan, by the way. Big. I, I am. I like agree. That's no the, doubt. I mean, we've talked about it. You know, those coaches you play for when you're growing up, and the guys that you remember. Kids are going to remember that guy. Hey. Listen, listen, man. They all came out here for you guys, all right? We were here together, all right? We spent since seven years old with you guys, all right? I love you guys, man. There's nothing else to say. You had a city behind you, right? 
the state of New Jersey. <laughs> uh, Ray, hey, Elizabeth, New Jersey, boys. Elizabeth, New Jersey is now known be uh, in the best light because of this group of boys, okay? Because of you guys and all the work you did. Man, I wanna just thank you guys, man. I'm serious. That's it. Hey, we're here with you because of you guys and your work. Hey, happy graduation day, boys. Happy graduation to my 12-year-olds, okay? Happy graduation. You guys are going on and be superstars on the big field, all right? It was an honor, all right? Husta Yamil, next year, right? You got to say you guys played with the best group of baseball players on the planet, right? Elizabeth is so proud of you guys. Your moms, your dads, right? And guys, JR, dude, you were so awesome today, bud. So awesome. I love the way we didn't give up, man. I love the way we didn't give up. We fought. We fought. You kept it. That's who we are. We're fighters. Every single one of you is going to be successful, all right? For the rest of my life, I'm proud that you guys are going to call me coach, all right? There's dad and there's coach. I love you guys. Look at that, boys. Come on. Family, guys, family. Family. Family on three. Family. family on three. One, two, three, family. Hey, last, last thing. I need you guys to help me up. <laughs> Give me up. Give me up. He's a big hugger, hugger on Labrador, and the 12 boys that were out there. And the three coaches represent the Mid-Atlantic region and Elizabeth, New Jersey, really, really yeah, well. Okay. Hey, Joel. This is a blast. It sure was a lot of fun, and he made it. So much more fun. Now on the other side, team that's going to play tomorrow, and that is the team from Louisiana. Let's go down to Julie. Carl, I got Egan Prather, who you just rocked it on the mound tonight. Ten strikeouts through a one-hitter. What are you thinking about when you're on the mound today? I mean, I was just thinking throw strikes, get ahead in the count, and do, do the best I can. Well, you did very well. What's up with the uh, covering of the mid of your face? What's that all about? It hides when I throw a curveball in all speed. It just disguises it more. Yeah, it's very mysterious. I liked it. <laughs> what do you love most about this group, Egan? We have a lot of fun, and we just love to play the game of baseball. Yeah, you can tell. Best of luck, buddy. Congratulations on a great game. Hey, the boys want you to tip the hat to them. They, they really love the hat tip. You want to give them a hat tip? That <laughs> boy, Egan. That Solid. boy. <laughs> Solid. This was pre-interview. Yep, that's what you do. <laughs> that's it. That's the mini, that's the Little League World Series Gatorade shower. Beautiful, so Prather was outstanding on the mound with his 10 strikeouts. Yeah, there was an aggressive tip of the cap, which is good, he deserved it, man. He earned it today. Yeah, you do this, you go out and punch out 10, strike out the side to start the ball game, pitch all the way into the sixth inning. Tip your hat all you want after this. And I, the, the control of the fastball, Russ, you talked about it on the front end. The breaker ball was great. But the ability to throw the fastball on both sides of the plate. He didn't throw it over the white a whole lot. No, it, it felt like that first pitch breaking ball of the game. We were going to see a ton of those breaking balls. We saw that fastball. I love the 4D look here. Look, he's behind the ball, head behind the arm. Great extension out in front. And he just exploded out of his hand off that breaking ball. And there's the tip of the cap. They're loving it. Thank you. He just following suit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah, you very much. I was dominant. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will be here again Sunday if we can get there. So that was the uh, pitching side of it. How about the offensive side of it? Reese Roussel reached base with two more hits. Julie? Reese, two for three today. Nine for 13 here, buddy. I know this always surprises you. Nine for 13 here at the Little League World Series. That's every kid's dream. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. I mean... Like like last time, like I go in the box and I know I'm going to hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> hit it that's, hard too. <laughs> that's got to be a pretty good feeling when you know you're going to hit the ball. Oh yeah, I feel I go up there confident. Like I'm I'm tell like I'm telling the pitcher in my mind. All right, come on, throw me like, throw me what you got. Do your best. Hey, you guys lost. Let's rewind a little bit. You lost that first game against Hawaii on Friday. You've now come back to win three elimination games. What is it about this group that makes it so special? Well, our first game, we weren't playing at our maximum ability. So, but um, we were starting to warm up to the crowd and stuff. So, I mean, our team is great. Like, 
Our fielding is phenomenal. Our hitting is like awesome. Mm -hmm. And pitching is <laughs> great as you saw the night yeah. or ten yeah. today. For, for kids watching at home that dream of one day coming to a Little League World Series or playing at a high level and hitting like you are, what do you tell them? Clear your mind as soon as you go into the batter's box. <laughs> Don't think too much because as soon like whenever that. you think too much, that's when you either pop out or hit a little dribbler to the shortstop or pitcher. I love that. Easier said than done, though, don't you think? Oh yeah, yeah. It really is. You've been really good. Hey, uh, do you want to give Ladybug a little kiss off? Huh? She been good luck for you guys? Oh yeah, a lot. It's she's been awesome. All right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there you go. Cut her. <laughs> yep. Give her a yeah. pet. Yep. Congratulations, buddy. Great, great job again. How about that, Rossi? Clear the mind. Oh, you've got a lot of clouds up there. He I, clears them. Man, I tell you what, if I could have just done that in my career, maybe <laughs> I would have gotten some. I was thinking about everything that they were trying to throw me. He gets in the box, he clears his mind, and he tells the pitcher to bring it. That's the way you need to do it. That's talk, We're talking about competing, and there's a lot of barrels found there from Reese Roussel. He is an absolute stud in the box, and today it didn't stop. Some key hits, gets down the line, knows how to run. Bat-to-ball skills are phenomenal. You know what I like, too? I mean, we just showed all nine of his hits in this Little League World Series. It's, it's right field line to left field line. But it, it's all over the place. It's pull side. It's the other side. We've talked about he's taking balls off the plate. Kick could just really hit. Yeah, I, you know, we should probably work on that whole clearing our mind before a game thing up here, too. Let's, I mean, we got two more today. Yeah. It's Maybe probably easier for some and harder for others. I tell you one thing, okay. I have no problem doing it. <laughs> There's just not a lot of stuff going here. Just, just clear it out. Pretty quick clear. <laughs> it's boom, yeah. erased. Because there's just not a lot going on up there. Mine's going bacon, sandwich, <laughs> Chick fil A sandwich, beef dip. It's just a, just <laughs> a rotation all the way around. It's just like, how can I get back to the food truck? <laughs> pork, beef, pork, beef, pork, pork. No. Great story, New Jersey all summer long. Congratulations to them. Louisiana said it. They had Hawaii to open it. They knew it was going to be tough. I'm sure Hawaii felt the same way about Louisiana. Hawaii won that game. If Louisiana gets a chance and Hawaii loses tonight, we'll have a rematch. And this should be a tremendous game at 7.30 Eastern time on ESPN. Hawaii has not lost. Virginia's thrown two no-hitters. And I mean all summer long. Virginia's been on a roll all summer long. Virginia got to the final game of the state championship last year. I should say the regional championship and lost. Now they won their state championship as 11 year olds. Now they come back as 12 year olds. They took that final step. They beat Peachtree City, Georgia, and uh, they keep that beat alive with a 4-1 win this morning. We will come back, take you to the top of the hour. Louisiana four, New Jersey one. That's your final. We got another game coming up at three. Stay with us.